People ask me every day what I look for for an engine. And I tell them the same things every time. I need to be lightweight and loaded with torque. My boats are loaded down with ice, tackle, people, and fuel to go to the longest places. The fish aren't close to shore anymore. So now I need a motor that starts every time. Now that I'm fishing in Louisiana, we can be 100, 150 miles offshore, and I can't worry about the engine. I have to worry about catching the fish that we've gone all this way to find. Number one, reliability. Mention it starts, and then you need to torque. Once you're out there 100 miles from shore, and you've added 1,000 pounds of tuna to your boat, how are you gonna get home? Torque, you gotta have torque to get the boat up on a plane and get you home safe. Since I started guiding, fuel has gone up four times. What a normal day. Our boats are twice as big, Instead of 25 footers, now we're running 36 footers. Instead of 100 gallons of fuel, now we're carrying 500 gallons of fuel. The motors have had to change. We needed more horsepower, more torque, but at the same time, we needed to burn less fuel. The advantages of having the new high horsepower engines is the fact that now you're gonna have 900 horses to move that boat wherever it needs to be. Fishing happens in a blink of an eye. With the use of satellites, we're able to find fish in places we never dreamed of before, but those places are way out. When a fish comes to eat, he finishes what he starts. And now these boats can get from point A to point B in seconds instead of minutes. That's just adding to more record catches, more sailfish caught at the end of the day, more tournament victories, and more fish in the boat. On any given morning, I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna catch that day where I'm gonna catch it, and how I'm gonna catch it. What I don't worry about is the engine that's gonna take me there.